Hi, in my article, um, my article was about the um, meat shortage that exists um, for uh, local meats and how it's being caused by a shortage of freezer space. Um, in the article, it talks about how um, the pandemic has caused uh, shortages in national meat production and that additionally there's been this renewed interest in uh, consumers buying local. So with an advertising campaign of buying local and national meat suppliers unable to provide enough, then there's been this renewed interest in locally grown meats. Now, um, what this has meant is that uh, processors then have to increase their production, um, local processors have to increase their production, but it also means that consumers now need um, freezers uh, to store all of these locally grown meats. See, the difference is that um, if you buy a national meat, you know, you always know you can go to the grocery store and you can buy like a pound or two pounds of meat. But if you buy locally grown meat, you typically have to buy like a third of a cow or something along those lines. Um, so you need a lot of freezer space to storage a third of a cow, um, a couple hundred pounds of beef. So in this article, there's a few um, graphs that I think... Um, could be made, right? So um, one of them would be this idea that um, the there's an increase in the demand for um, local meat caused by a advertising campaign or basically increased student preferences, which would mean that one of the consequences is that the quantity is going up and that the price is going up. So what this means is now is that local farmers have an incentive to um, send their meat to a local processor and that these processing facilities now, local processing facilities have lots of of meat, maybe too much meat to process. <coughs> but one thing that the article points out is that the full increase in demand doesn't necessarily occur. See, so what I have here is a demand curve that's slightly shifting um, in the opposite direction because people can't get their freezer space, which means that then the price for local meat doesn't go up as much as originally it would have, which is um, then when individual farmers then might say, we really want this um, local freezer shortage uh, to resolve itself. So the way that we can connect this to then the topic would be that we would connect it to um, supply and demand and the consequences that it, that shifting the demand curve in this case has on the equilibrium price and quantity.